This screencast is, covers the material from the practice set of Module 4, Lesson 19, where we convert from smaller units of measure to larger units of measure using fractions. All right, let's do the first example here. Now, of course, we're going from inches to feet, and we know that inches are smaller than feet. So we'll go through the routine that we have, have established several lessons ago. We have 7 inches equals 7 times 1 inch. And we know that 1 inch is the same as 1 twelfth of a foot. So now we have 7 times 1 twelfth of a foot. Continuing, that equals 7 times 1 over 12, which equals 7 twelfths. So 7 inches equals 7 twelfths of a foot. We're going to go from inches to feet once again. <clears throat> this time we're going to use a mixed number. So I have 13 inches equals 13 times 1 inch equals 13 times 1 twelfth of a foot because 1 inch is 1 twelfth of a foot equals 13 times 1 over 12. And in this case, we get 13 twelfths. Now, the instructions tell us that, if possible, we should express this as a mixed number. So we get 1 and 1 twelfth. Now we're going to go from ounces to pounds. So again, 5 ounces equals 5 times 1 ounce equals Five. Well, one ounce is one sixteenth of a pound, and we get five times one over sixteen, and we get five sixteenths. So, five ounces equals five sixteenths of a pound. Again, ounces to pounds. Eighteen ounces equals eighteen times one ounce equals 18 times 1 16th of a pound equals 18 times 1 over 16. We can uh, find a common factor of 2 in, in 18 and 16. We get a 9 and we get an 8 and that equals 9 eighths equals 1 and 1 eighth pound. Uh, you may use different units. So again, it's up to you to learn your conversion units for these. But as you can see, our when we go from large or from small to large, we end up with a fraction, as we did here. Okay, so let's go on and do some word problems. These are very similar to the ones that you have in your homework. Regina buys. <coughs> 24 inches of trim for craft products projects. So, we want to know what fraction of a yard does she, Regina buy. So, 24 inches equals 24 times 1 inch equals 24. Well, we have uh, yards and inches. Well, we have 36 inches in the yard, so we're going to change it to 1 36th of a yard. We now have 24 times 1 over 36. And we look at uh, 24 and 36. They have common factors. Uh, we can divide both of those by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 36 divided by 12 is 3. So now we have 1, excuse me, 2 thirds of a yard. So the answer is Regina bought 2 thirds of a yard. Now we need to find out how much it, how, how much it costs to buy that when it costs $6 a yard. So we have 
two-thirds of a yard. One yard is six dollars. So two-thirds of a yard would be two-thirds of six dollars, which is the same as two-thirds times six. And we uh, continue. Two times six over three. We can find our common factor of three in both six and three. We get a two. And we get a one. And we have two times two is four. So it costs four dollars. And of course, we should make our statement. At Yo Yo Yogurt, the scale says that Sarah has eight ounces of vanilla yogurt in her cup. Her father's yogurt weighs 11 ounces. How many pounds of yogurt did they purchase altogether? Express your answer as a mixed number. Well, first we have to find out how many ounces. And of course, Sarah has eight ounces. And her father has 11 ounces. And we're talking about all together, so we're going to find the sum of those, and we get 19 ounces. So we have 19 ounces equals 19 times 1 ounce. And that's the same as 19. 1 ounce is a sixteenth of a pound. We now have 19 times 1 divided by 16. We get 19 sixteenths. And since we have to write that as a mixed number, we have 1 and 3 sixteenths pounds. All right, last problem coming up. Teng Zhu drinks one cup of milk every day for lunch. How many gallons of milk does he drink in two weeks? Well, first we have to figure out how much how many cups he drinks in two weeks. We know that two weeks has 14 days. And that's one cup a day. And obviously we end up with 14 cups. Now, we have to find the conversion factor between cups and gallons. Now, that, that may be one that you don't have uh, memorized. But we know that uh, one cup, or excuse me, two cups equals one pint. And we know that one or two pints equals one quart. And we know that four quarts equals one gallon. So well, how are we going to work this? Well, if I have a gallon, I have four quarts. So, one gallon equals four quarts. And if I take the four quarts and I break them down into pints, I'm going to have eight pints. And if I have eight pints and I break them down into cups, I have 16 cups. So, one gallon equals 16 cups. So, we're going to take our 14 cups equals 14 times 1 cup equals 14 times well, the conversion factor is 16. 1 cup is 1 16th of a gallon. So now I have 14 times 1 over 16. A common factor of 2. We get a 7 and we get an 8. And we have 7 eighths. So Feng Shu drink seven-eighths of a gallon in two weeks. These are very similar to the problems that you'll see in your homework. Uh, nothing particularly complicated, but this should give you significant and helpful guidance in completing your homework.